After having left a Japan, having covered the tsunami and the earthquake, I had already decided to come back because I felt like I had not really covered one of the major stories that was taking place during that time, which was the nuclear disaster. We entered the 20 kilometer exclusion zone and it was quite stressful. The only thing we had to identify which areas were high risk and low risk was using the Geiger counter. Within the 20 to 30 kilometer mark, there was still normal life. People lived there. There were funerals being held for the victims of the tsunami. What was uh, quite amazing was that we found a lot of people who had been workers or living in the Fukushima area around the nuclear plant, and these people have, have been relocated to another nuclear town. So what you find is that there was sort of a nuclear family spread around Japan amongst the different nuclear cities. The three power plants that I visited, which are owned by TEPCO, all power Tokyo. A lot of residents that we did talk to said that they were a little bit uncomfortable being this close to uh, nuclear plants that have the potential for something to go wrong when the power doesn't even go to them. It goes across these electrical you know, power lines that, that run hundreds of kilometers to the city of Tokyo. Tokyo for me always felt like I was on a different planet. And I think I wanted to use Tokyo as this 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 future city. Tokyo is just really special in terms of the way it uses power everywhere. Mm -hmm. 